Hi everybody, it's Claire here from My Creative Spirit with a really croaky voice. Um, I've been to Wales, come back, thought I'd avoided picking up a lurgy from the lovely boys, but no, I think I've caught it. So I apologise for um, croaking my way through this video, but I wanted to share with you um, a new project. It was made for the workshop that I've just done down in Wales. It's made from the Graphic 45 Communique collection, the new deluxe um, collector's edition that they have brought out and re-released and it was the third collection that I ever crafted with when I found um, Graphic 45 a, a few years ago. So crafting a game with it was real fun. Um, the project's made out of one of my book in the box kits which um, are available on our website Oops. and they come flat packed with the album covers as well. I'll put the link to that under the um, in the description under the video um, and let me take you through and show you what you can do with one of the kits and the deluxe collector's edition. Um, the box I've altered in two papers, I love this, it reminds me of um, my uncle's pyjamas <laughs> when we were little, we used to go and stay and he, I'm sure he had pyjamas in that material, love it. And then I've matched it with the stripe. I love anything spotty or striped that Graphic 45 do. So I've matched it with the um, black and cream stripe and then put some of the images from the collection and the chipboard piece on the front. And let's show you the back. So my projects are always quite plain, They're quite plain, quite functional. I don't add a lot to them, but I just let the papers sort of speak. It's got little wooden feet on this box as well. I don't know if you can see them, but just little mushroom feet um, that have been painted black. And then when you open it, let's show you the inside. The inside is just all black, covered in black card. You could use the papers to decorate the inside as well. There is enough left after you've made the album. And then here's the little album that sits inside. Oops. So it just fits nicely in the box and I've done another couple of albums and box sets. This album is different so if you think um, or fancy making another one, if you've made one already, then this one will take you on a different journey. All about communication obviously, that's the uh, theme of the papers. Very vintage images as we always get from Graphic 45. Love the penny blacks. So the cover, I've sort of coordinated the cover with the box Let's bring the box in so you can see the stripe carries on and the ladies and then we've got the big C on there for communique which I've highlighted with glossy accents and just put a hint of glitter on just to add a little bit of sparkle but not too much. So the album itself is seven and a half by five inches. It's got a two and a half inch spine and it's packed full of all sorts of little pockets and places to put your photos and your um, memorabilia in. My photo albums are all about putting in full-size photos so you always get um, full-size photo mats. So the first little page has got a nice pocket, let's take these out, I had to use the hand, I love the hand, and I made a pocket out of it. There's a flip-up photo mat in here. I've left the inside of the photo mats plain so that if you make the project you can add your own photos or additional embellishments inside. But I love all the cutouts that we've got to work with. Added some stamps here as well and used up a little bit of the paper that was left over from the box on there. So there's a nice pocket on that side and then just a couple of tags to go under this little pocket here. I think this one is a flip up, little flip up book. And I've used the We Are Memory Keepers file tab punch for this. Packs of tabs are available on the website too. So those sit on that page. And then I've sort of kept the theme going with that script paper in the background. Little pocket here made from the sticker. So you could add something under there. And then a lovely phone themed little pocket book. Again, it's got, it's got a pocket in, you can add whatever you like into it. I love these papers. So that one just slides into the pocket on that page and then there is a pull out 
photo mat, again big enough to put your 6 by 4 photos on, that sits inside the end of the page. Let's just pop it back in. And then flip over. You can see I'm still using up the papers. I'm quite good actually. Whatever I cut into, I like to reuse until I've sort of used as much as I can of what's left over before cutting into a new sheet of paper. And that way, when you get to the end of your project, you've got four sheets of paper left rather than lots and lots of bits. So this is a little pocket page. It's got a nice corner pocket. I've used some of the stickers here just to spell out the word music. And we've backed them with um, three quarter inch circles. And they do form a little belly band in their own right. And then in the pocket, we've got a little um, journal stick communicate and love the eyes and a little photo book which way does it go I'm trying to open it the wrong way so I've lifted the picture from the paper and the words and just made a little photo book that slides in here too and then flipping over I have picked out quite a lot of the words from the one sheet of paper and highlighted them with glossy accents, just so that when you run your finger over them, they're nice and raised. So we've used a large picture to make the pocket, and then we've got, if it comes out, just a flat photo mat there, with that lovely cutout. I love the reds. Reds, creams, and blacks, I think are my favorite color combination, I'm 45. So if you're listening or watching, bring out more collections in those colorways. And then flipping over, we have got um, a funny little photo mat. This one just tucks in, so it's like a pocket mat. I've got the band of stamps, I love the penny blacks, and somewhere to put the photo under the band, and on here, and here, and on the back too. And this one I have covered in papers. And then this little piece just slots under there. And slides under the belly band on the page. Had to show off Liberty's calling. I love that. And sitting on dog tooth paper as well. And just a little tag there that slides under Liberty. And then here we've got another little pocket. I'm sure there was something that sat in the pocket, but I'll show you. So again, you can put whatever you like in there. The word's been highlighted with glossy accents, so just have to touch it. <laughs> and then there's another pull-out flip-up photo book in the end of the page. And that one um, I did cover in stripy paper. That's unusual because I like to save the stripy papers. So it just slides in there so that you can see the word type. And then flipping over, we have got another little band on the back of this page with the typewriter on and the word letters and then just a photo mat made from the cutout and again these are all highlighted in glossy accents just gives them a nice feel and then we've got a little envelope pocket with a little magnet Love that. and inside there is a little tag with the camera on plain on the back and then I've used the lovely red spotty paper on the inside of that page just to coordinate with the other side and then flipping over again I had to use this I love this at the top of the um, one sheet of paper highlighted the glasses are highlighted so it's got a lovely feel to it pockets on both sides so I've used cutouts from the paper for those and then there's also a little place to put something under there as well with that chipboard piece. And they just slide in there like that. And then flipping over. No, something's gone missing out of here. But never mind. This is a little um, belly band that goes across the page. I love this brocade paper. It's amazing actually how the papers all... Um, coordinate when you open the pads you think oh there's so much going on inside them 
but Diane is really, really clever and her team at coordinating colours and patterns so that you can actually work them together beautifully. So um, we've got the brocade here, picture, little fold out book, stripes inside, a little bit of border from one of the pages and where's that nice little tag? There are little pockets at the side to pop things into on this page and then an area to put a photograph as well. That folds up and just slides under that band. Little pocket here, I've used one of the pictures as the pocket and the film strip and we've just got that lovely picture as the tag. Oh and I cut out the little brooch as well or the pendant and popped it onto the page. And then we've got red on this page. I've used one of the cutouts on the front of this fold out photo mat. That slides into a pocket on the page decorated it with the reds inside and then there's a little tag that slots under that chipboard piece as well. Let's slide it back in. And then on the opposite page, this page sort of folds out so the front lifts up, or it should go like that actually, so the front lifts up and flips out to the side and then I've just used some of the little pictures as the little mats that just poke under that side pocket. Let's move it so you can see. They just poke under there and then there's two nice areas to put photos. Even a small one, a passport size photo would fit on that side too. And then it just folds up like that. And what have we got? Oh yeah, flipping over. Right to the back now. I had to get the pens in. Oh, I stuck this in. I had to get the pens in and create a pocket with them so I finally did it. I was running out of pages when I got to the back. I thought, oh, I've got to work them in. Aren't they gorgeous? Love them. I mean, they look fabulous if you fussy cut them out, but I've just used the paper to create the page. And then we've just got a little photo book that um, just plain inside for your pictures. That slides in there and then right at the very back I couldn't finish the album without doing something with this lovely um, book cover cut out so I've mounted it on black card created a page with a pocket in it so that there's somewhere for it to sit and then there are just three pages inside you can put as many as you like but I've just done three pages to maybe write something about the album in or journal or whatever and backed it with black card and it just sits right at the very back. So a really lovely little keepsake. It's um, not, not, not too big an album to make. Lots and lots of beautiful colours, beautiful pictures and cutouts and still lots of room to put your own elements in it as well and of course it comes in that gorgeous little box. So it would make a lovely gift um, as a presentation box and keepsake. Anyway, give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and then you'll get notified of all the new videos that I do. And thanks very much for watching.